you know, I was so scared. When I first reached out to Jacoby and Myers, I didn't know if I had a case or not. As soon as I got a hold of my attorney, she was very, very nice, very kind. Because of Jacoby and Myers, I don't have that pressure to worry about a medical bill or things like that. If I know of any accident, I'm like, call Jacoby and Myers, they'll help you. If you've been in a serious accident, we are here for you. Call Jacoby and Myers, justice for you since 1972. Breaking news tonight out of New Hall. That is where two men were shot to death near a pool at an apartment complex. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. I'm Kathy Vara. Sheriff's deputies have been at the complex all day investigating the crime. NBC4's Tracy Leong is live at the scene in New Hall with details of the investigation. Tracy. Yeah, Kathy and Jonathan, deputies tell me they believe this is a gang-related shooting. The call came in around 10.50, and as you can see, it's still active. There are deputies and investigators here right now. Now, it happened here at the Village Apartment Homes near New Hall Avenue. When deputies arrived, they found two people down next to the pool with gunshot wounds to the upper torso. Paramedics pronounced them dead at the scene, and witnesses told officers they saw a white car in the area right after the shooting, and deputies, they were able to locate that car near by and detain the two people inside. They are being questioned and held as persons of interest. This is what Homicide Bureau Lieutenant Hugo Reynaga told me about the two people. They're both uh, the other one's a sick investigation is uh, leading towards uh, this is a gang shooting uh, between two gangs. We believe that the two victims were involved or associated with the one of the two gangs. And uh, we also believe that the suspects may have been a rival gang that was in this complex uh, looking for some, somebody from that gang to shoot. Again, deputies have two persons of interest that they are questioning, but there is a possibility they are looking for more suspects. They are asking anyone who may have witnessed something to come forward and give them a call. For now, that is the very latest here in Newhall. Reporting live, Tracy Leong, NBC4 News. Tracy, thank you for that. Now to a developing story. Former President Trump posting this to his social media platform. He says he will be arrested on Tuesday and encouraging his followers to, quote, protest, take our nation back. Now, he referenced reports that he could soon face possible criminal charges in New York relating to a hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels. NBC News reported Friday that law enforcement agencies are now preparing for a possible indictment as early as next week. We spoke with a local professor and a former federal prosecutor who believes all of this is theatrics on the former president's part. Well, I think Trump sees it to his advantage to put out the word that somehow he will be arrested. There's several advantages to him in doing so. First, he has a rally coming up on Tuesday in Texas, and he wants to get his supporters out there for him. He's been using social media and the threat of a charge to try to raise money. He's trying to get his name in the news, and by saying things like this, he's able to do so. Continues coming up on the NBC Nightly News that is up next at 530, followed by the NBC4 News at 6 o'clock. We're going to turn now to your weather. Nice conditions today, but you can expect some rain in the coming days. Here's the view from Mount Wilson. But will there be rain over the marathon tomorrow? That's the big question. Meteorologist Stephanie Olmo is here with your first alert forecast. Yeah, we're keeping things pretty quiet. It was a beautiful day today. We had sunny skies, and I saw a lot of people just soaking up the sunshine here earlier today. Things warmed up pretty nicely here. Pasadena. The temperatures currently sitting at 69 degrees, so temperatures still pretty mild. As we check out the satellite and radar, we are keeping track of a weak disturbance just offshore, but it's bringing lots of clouds over the area. As we take just a closer look over our region, some high clouds streaming right on in. You mentioned the marathon that starts things up tomorrow morning. Some groups will begin at 630 in the morning. We can expect cool conditions, not as bad, but 55 degrees to start things up and plenty of clouds in the area. And then the chance to see some light scattered showers in some spots over parts of our region 9 a.m. 12 p.m. We do have the chance to see some very light spotty showers drizzle. So want to keep that in mind, but it's not going to amount to a whole lot. Temperatures around 9 a.m. will be in the upper 50s, 63 around lunchtime.
Did you check out here what to expect here late tonight? Increasing clouds over the